Right, okay, today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different. We all love Thai food, it's delicious, it's cheap, you can find it everywhere, but if you live out here long term or if you're out here in Thailand for quite some time, every now and again you'll get a craving for some food from your own country. And today I'm gonna to show you a special supermarket that sells food from Europe, Australia, Japan, America, and it's quite different to the normal uh, Thai supermarkets like Big C and Lotus. Now, the one I'm showing you today is one one, as I say, of several outlets. I've actually got quite a lot now. This one is located in the Plonchet Center, which is on Sukhumvit Soy 2. And towards the end of the video, I will take you around this um, mall to show you what else I've got here. And I will stick a map right at the end of the video to show you where these villa supermarkets are located, uh, because they do have quite a lot of outlets now. The first one, I believe, was started on Sukhumvit Soy 33. It was there when I was here 25, 26 years ago, uh, but they've extended, extended rapidly. And um, a lot of the products here you can't find anywhere else. So the food and vegetable that you're looking at now all looks very, very nice. But to be honest with you, I, I think it's better to kind of have a look in Big C and Lotus. Uh, their pricing is a little bit better on that kind of produce. There is a lot you can now get in local supermarkets here like all the uh, fruit and vegetables and it does tend to be cheaper i i only come to villa for things that i specifically can't get anywhere else you see pringles crisps there or as the americans call them potato chips uh, and lots of other um, snacks let's call them snaps snacks and a lot of these snacks uh, you won't find anywhere else lots and lots of dairy products here but again, a lot of these you can find in local supermarkets and 7-Elevens. 7-Elevens are everywhere and they have a good selection of drinks now. So, I'll just have a general look around. There's some uh, sweets, uh, candy, as the Americans call it. And just walking down the aisles now to give you an idea of the sort of things they'll sell. Uh, I will head over to the freezer department. You can get some quite nice frozen food. McVitie's biscuits there. Uh, cookies, again, as the Americans call them. And uh, these are all imported, so you will pay for them, but you can get them. And one of the reasons I decided to film in this particular villa is because it's one of their larger spaced out supermarkets. It's not the best stocked one that I've come across. There are bigger ones with more stock, but some of the ones in central Bangkok, the aisles are very, very small due to space constraints. And I didn't want to get in anybody's way. And I, I particularly came here at a time where I knew it would be very, very quiet in the day. There's your Heinz baked beans and your Watts baked beans. Uh, I think they're Australian Watts. Uh, they're the ones I buy, actually, reduced sugar. And I'm not going to name every item as I walk around this supermarket. You can see for yourself. Uh, a lot of the margarines and butters uh, that you can't get anywhere else. Uh, they have a great selection of cheese, but for some reason, cheese in Thailand is very, very expensive, wherever you buy it. But you can see there's some cathedral cheese. That's from the UK. There's a lot of Australian cheese here and French cheese and also some American products. Most of the local supermarkets like Big C and Lotus, they do sell cheese now and they do have quite a variety. I just find here in Villa they have a better variety. Like the meats, I find the quality of the meats here are, are much better. They're, they're probably the best I've come across. And again, all these uh, cleaning products that you can see down here, you can pretty much get all of this stuff from, from local supermarkets. I won't compare prices. Uh, it's, a, it's a good shop to shop at Villa, so I, I don't want to be upsetting them and saying they're, they're too expensive. Uh, there's your, your cookware there. Now, the difference between this cookware and the cheaper stuff, the cheaper cookware in the local shops is you'll probably find that this is better quality. Uh, at first glance, it looks very expensive, but it is quality. And you can see there, look, there's pies from Australia, there's sausages, uh, more pies there, the, the yellow and green striped pies there, chicken and mushroom, uh, beef and uh, steak and beef, that sort of thing, I buy them. 
good selection of sausages and, and it's quite good quality actually. It was a bit hard to film through the glass because I was getting reflection from the lights above uh, but you can still see a lot of products from Iceland in the UK but they're very very expensive uh, but you can see there they've got cooker chicken pies and uh, some TV dinners and uh, some crispy battered cod which I'll occasionally buy but as I say it's quite expensive because it's shipped in and your vegetables again I'd get them from local supermarkets unless you happen to be here and you're doing a shop and it's convenient anyway Now one of the things they have here, uh, they have a fantastic collection of wines and spirits which you'll see in a bit. I had to kind of rush uh, while I was filming the spirits because a lady came out of the back after I'd been filming for about seven or eight minutes and she said you're not allowed to film in here and I kind of I kind of told a white lie and said I'm taking video for a friend who's moving out here and I just want to show him that you can actually buy the food here and she kind of didn't approve me but she kind of went away and let me get on with it. Uh, so I kind of sp sped up the video after that. But you can see all the meat here, the pork, beef, chicken, everything. It's all very, very good quality. It's refrigerated nicely. Lots of spices there if you're into your home cooking. Years ago, most of this stuff you could only get from Villa, but nowadays, a lot of it you can get from local supermarkets. Like I said earlier on in the video, I only come in here to buy stuff I can't get anywhere else. And now looking at all the spirits and good whiskies, vodkas, everything you'd find in your own supermarket uh, back home. Fantastic collection of uh, wine, red and white. But again, I had to kind of rush it. I was coming towards the end and I didn't want to push my luck too far. So this gives you a general idea of what Villa sells. Um, if you're coming out here for any length of time, it's worth kind of looking for a, a villa. One, there's a lot around the Nana area. There's one on Soy 11. Um, there's one in Soy 2 on the Planchet Centre. There's another one up on Soy 33. There's one on Rama 4 uh, at the back of, uh, I think it's Big C or Lotus, one of the two, I think it's Big C actually. And um, it's just worth, worth popping in one afternoon and having a look. The thing is when you live here you can't really afford to eat every single meal outside and even if you could you wouldn't want to because it soon gets very very boring it's nice to do a bit of cooking in your own kitchen. Okay so that's Villa let's go and see what else is going on in uh, the Planchet Centre here on Sukhumvit Soy 2. Now it doesn't look very very busy but if you come here between 12 and 1 you can't move because there's a lot of floors of offices and uh, it is a, it's primarily an office building. There's a, lots and lots of Thai staff working in offices. And I came here earlier in the day about 12.30 and I had to abandon this particular project and come back later in the day about three o'clock because I just couldn't move, it was so busy. Uh, a lot of people from those offices coming down for lunch. There you've got a Boots there, that's a, a UK brand. Uh, they do have Watson, I believe that's an American brand or an Australian brand. Uh, you'll find them all over the place as well. Uh, nice big McDonald's there at the end. Bread and cakes. It's not a particularly exciting shopping mall. There are a lot more uh, more interesting malls. Obviously, Bangkok's uh, the Thais love their malls, as you know. They're, they're, the latest one is the M Sphere, a fantastic mall. I like the MBK Centre. That's a great mall. It Fortune on. Uh, Rama 9, that's another good one, that's where you get all your IT bits and pieces, all your computer cables and selfie sticks and everything. So this is quite tame really, but as I was here I just thought I'd uh, show you what they have to offer. There's a lot of coffee shops in here for some reason, not just the big names like Starbucks, but as I was going through the floors I came across quite a few, but they, they all kind of looked empty this time of the day. And if there's anything you're particularly looking for when you come to Bangkok and you're not sure where to look, drop a comment below and if I know of a location of something that you're looking for, I will get back to you. Smoothies or cold drinks. 
Okay, now this coffee shop I'd never heard of before, Tim Houghton's, and I believe somebody told me this was a big brand in Canada, as Starbucks is in the US. So Tim Horton's coffee, rather, Tom, Tim Horton's. Um, never heard of it, but it's quite becoming quite big in Thailand. Kind of looks nice and quiet, a place to come to do a live stream with Marley maybe one day. And yet another coffee shop, that one was empty. I'm not a big fan of McDonald's, but believe it or not, when you live here, every now and again, you do crave a Burger King or a McDonald's. Not very often, but occasionally. Okay, so I've just come out onto the street now, onto Sukhumit Road, to just uh, show you where, where the Planchet Centre is located. If you know Soy 4, Nana Plaza, that sort of area, it's the next road up. Okay, there's uh, the sign there, Sukhumit 2. JW Marriott Hotel right in front. You can see that from Soy 4, so... If you're in Soy 4, just hop to the other side. Looking back the other way now. Okay guys, I hope that you found this video interesting. Not the most exciting video I've ever uploaded, but it should be helpful if you want to get some local food. And I'll see you shortly.